It's acknowledged as one of the best air defense systems out there. It can strike 80 targets at a time at a range of 400 kilometers, even if they're traveling at five kilometers a second. I'm always about to say an hour, but no, a second. So perhaps that's why there's high demand. The S-400 isn't some undeveloped technology still on the drawing board or sitting in a dusty warehouse. It's on active duty in Syria, protecting Russian units there. The Russian Army's top man hasn't revealed the names of the system's next buyers, but he did mention the regions, the Middle East and Southeast Asia. He's touring that part of the world right now. Mr. Shoigu says whenever he's talking to army bosses from other countries, there's always discussion about buying Russia's defense technology. So soon, we'll find out who's next in line for the S-400. I say next because Turkey has already got a contract. And when they signed the papers, it was big news. Sure, that's a NATO member, Washington's key ally that's counting on Russian engineering to keep its skies safe. Somewhere else that's military might is all but dependent on America is Saudi Arabia. But a few months ago, the Saudis and the Russians agreed on an S-400 deal as well. China's getting it and India too. Let's see if the name of the next customer comes as a surprise.